Alright, what's up, Colo Nation? Tonight I've got for you a Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi battle. This is the second gym in the gym challenge for the Xenos League that I did start in the last battle. Um, it is against Crimson, the leader of the Steel Gym. It'll be a 6v6 singles battle. And our team for tonight is Jolteon, Bisharp, Deoxys S, Shiftree, Salamence, and Charizard Y. His team is going to be skill based. This will be a 6v6 singles match. And before we get started, please smash that like button. We want to get at least 33 likes on our Colo, uh, video for our Colo Golo. As well, subscribe to Colo Nation as I keep growing and provide you with more and more awesome content throughout the weeks. Our opponent's team for tonight will be. Excuse me. Therathorn, Empoleon, Mawile, Aegislash, Heatran, and Skarmory. Hmm. Looking at his team, don't forget that Steel does not have Dark Resistance in this generation. So it's bigness weakness right now. Um, he's got three Pokemon that are purely weak to ground. Probably four if that Aegislash doesn't have Air Balloon. Fighting is good against Ferrothorn, M Empoleon, Heatran, and Skarmory. It's neutral. Um, as well as Mawile. The only thing it's immune against really is Aegislash. Um, let's look, we, uh, Ice Beam's pretty good against Ferrothorn and Skarmory. So we've got basic coverage here. Um, I don't want to put the sun up immediately. I want to set out, send out, um, Deoxys to see what he's going to send out first. Because if he uses the, uh, the Aegis Slash, we don't have coverage. Oh, we do have Dark, we have Dark Pulse. So the best bet is going to be starting off with the Deoxys. Um, if we can survive a Shadow Sneak, we'll be alright. So let's see. Before I run out of time here. Yeah, we'll survive a Shadow Sneak, so that's going to be fine. Jolteon, Bisharp, Shiftree, Charizard, and not a Dragon, the Salamence. And let me know in the comments below the MVP you think will be of this battle. Will it be Jolteon, Bisharp, Deoxys S, Shiftree, Salamence, or Charizard? And here we go. I just want to thank Crimson again for letting me battle him. Um, I'm really happy to be a part of this league. They invited us from Gary's Battle and Trade Station to the Xenos League to challenge them on Facebook. So um, all my Gary's followers, uh, friends and followers who follow throughout the group and on this channel, please go out, challenge the league, give them some fun. We would love to grow with them and join them in their quest to become better players and have fun with the games. He's going to send out Skarm Bliss, the Skarmory first. So right now we have our Deoxys. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to survive a brave, brave Bird. We will survive a Brave Bird. So we're fine with that. Um, no matter what he sends out, as long as he doesn't send out the Age of Slash, we're okay. This thing doesn't have resistance either, so let's see. Dark Pulse may cause a flinch. Our best bet is going to be to go for Dark Pulse. Um, get off some heavy damage right off the bat. So we're going to get off that Dark Pulse. Hoping for the flinch. We do get the flinch off on that first turn. Um, Natalie knows we carry Dark Pulse. Let's see. We can do a lot with some. Um, we can hope we can go for the Dark Pulse here. He might have U-turn on this thing as well. What would a U-turn do to us is the question. U-turn would do, you know, a little under 40%. So that's okay. We're going to go for Dark Pulse again. Hope for the flinch again. And we don't get it, but he does get up the Self Rocks. Um, I'm thinking that because he has the leftovers, we should just go for the Ice Beam here. Set him off with an Ice Beam, see what we can do. Maybe get off a Freeze. I'm hoping we can get off a Freeze here. That would be great if we did get the freeze. We don't get the freeze. He gets the Brave Bird. That should kill him anyway. Um, how much damage we can do is the question here. Alright, so he's going to do over half. He's going to knock himself out with the Brave Bird. We're currently up 1-0, but I'm very cautious here because if he uses the Age of Slash, he will knock us out um, with a Shadow Sneak. Should knock us out. Age of Slash would be the best option here because we don't have extreme speed, which wouldn't affect him. He chooses Mawile, um, which lowers our attack. <laughs> I 
I mean, the best move we can do here would be Psycho Boost, because we're probably going to die this turn. Um, if he uses Sucker Punch, we're done. Let's switch. Let's switch and let him get out that first. Um, Proceeds. Salamence, if it takes a play rough, we're done. Will he go for the play rough expecting the switch, or is he going to uh, stay in and go for the Sucker Punch? That's the question here. What will Jolteon take from it? Jolteon, Sucker Punch would kill it. Charizard Y, Sucker Punch wouldn't kill. We at least get the sun up. Um, I mean, I guess we're faster naturally, so we could do that and then go for the uh, Sucker Punch with Bisharp. See, Bisharp, Sucker Punch, would do 30 damage. If we get a Source Dance up first, we do about half health. A little over that, so let's stay in and hope he doesn't go for Sucker Punch. Instead, let's go for the, um, I'm guessing, we'll go for Super Power here. I'm assuming he's going to Mega Evolve. He is going to Mega Evolve here. Um, that Deoxys is probably going to go down this turn regardless of what he uses, but we're going for the Psycho Boost anyway. He doesn't go for that. I mean, we're going for Super Power anyway. And that thing takes almost no damage. Ooh, that's not good. That's an issue, because he's going to go for the Play Rough. Um, against Salamence, though. Salamence, Earthquake's going to do, like, a lot more damage than I thought it would. He has the Choice Scarf. We are adamant, I believe, or naive. So, I guess our best move here... We're gonna go for, um, Charizard to come out. Charizard Y. Um, will be coming out. We did take the Stealth Rocks damage, but we just want to get the Sun up immediately. Hopefully survive for the flamethrower. He might not carry Sucker Punch, which would surprise me, but he might not. Um, if he doesn't, he's kind of dead. But let's see what he decides to do. A flamethrower, we kill him. Um, if he doesn't use Sucker Punch, though, that's a problem. I hope he doesn't use Sucker Punch. If he uses Sucker Punch, we're kind of in trouble here. Gonna use Sucker Punch, that's probably gonna kill us off. We just really needed to get the sun off. So what are we gonna do? That's the question here. Um, honestly, if we can get him down to a certain HP, we should be alright. Sal, uh... Immense. Um... It takes 70%. Shift Tree won't take much at all. So, Shift Tree will survive it easily. Um, we're gonna go with Shift Tree. Leaf Storm. You're modest. Modest Leaf Storm will do about 40%. Um, he's also got Rock Slide, which does go for the flinch as well. Plus fake out. Fake us and do 7% rocket slide can produce a flinch. Um we have dark pulse as well. But that doesn't really do much. Um let's see what dark pulse would do. Dark pulse would do 20 something percent at most at most. <sighs> Excuse me. So fake out's our first move. Let's go for fake out. He's he's gonna flinch from this. That's gonna do about like two percent, really. Nothing much at all. Um, now we're gonna go and use. You wanna go for? No, let's go for the um. We can survive two of those. We're gonna go for the dark pulse here. Hope for the flinch. If we can get the flinch, we'll be all right. We just need a flincher, we don't get the flinch, he uses play rough, we're dead. We are dead as hell. Alright, so that's a dead shift tree right there. 
Now... Um... Now that our sun trio is gone... Let's go and use Salamence. Um... What will Salamence's Iron Tail do? Forty percent, which we don't need. Earthquake will kill. We're kind of forced into earthquake here. Um, he might go for sucker punch just for the sake of attacking us. And uh, kind of in a bind right now. I hope he stays in and just th takes the earthquake. Let's go for the Sucker Punch. Hopefully can't kill us. We do survive with 23. And get off the Earthquake here. Now don't forget, we are a Scarf Man, so we'll be alright. Now what we can do here, we're going to switch into the Aegis Slash. If he goes into, uh, I mean the Bisharp if he goes into Aegis Slash. He's going to send out the Aegis Slash... Which doesn't have the balloon. Which means that has Shadow Sneak. Um, ten and a half. Um. So that would kill us if he uses the Shadow Sneak. Let's switch now. Go into Bisharp. We're gonna go into Bisharp here. And hope he uses Shadow Sneak just to knock us off. Um, see what he decides to use. Shadow Sneak probably is coming now just to kill us off. Yep, so he's going to use the Shadow Sneak. He's really not going to do much damage to us all. We're going to go for the Sucker Punch. The moment he attacks us, he is gone. And I think he knows this. We could choose to set up with Swords Dance. Um, but Sacred Sword could kill us. So we're gonna go, we are faster, so if he wants to kill us, he really should go for the Sacred Sword, but Knockoff is gonna kill him. So we're gonna go for the Knockoff, because we are faster, he's gonna withdraw. I could have set up with Sword Stance there, but not a big deal, we're gonna use Knockout and Knockout whatever he's holding. And that is gonna knock off. His Rocky Helmet. Um, let's see, we can do some damage here. If he gets off like an ingrain or something, we should be all right. Um, Jarabon Power won't kill us. Set up a Sword Dance here. We're gonna set up the Sword Dance. Hope he doesn't carry anything that can do a lot of damage or force us to stay in. That would be a huge issue for us. Um, if we get up a Swords Dance and survive, we should be alright. So Swords Dance plus two. We're gonna be able to knock it out next turn. He's gonna Leech Seed us, which is great. He's gonna go straight for the knockoff. Um, that should kill. Uh, it might not kill, actually, but whatever. We're gonna have to go for two knockoffs here. Knockoff one. Gonna leave him with about third of what he had left um he's gonna use curse he just sacrificed himself unless he has protect on this thing that might be a problem if he has protect that's a little bit of an issue not too big of a deal um should we sacrifice our fish or not is the question still might not kill with this thing is the problem let's go for knockoff again Hoping he stays in. If he switches, we're in a bit of trouble. Where he's gonna stay and we should be able to kill with this. Yes, we do kill. Alright, so that might not Oh, we don't die. We kill off the um Therathorn. With one HP, we do survive that. Though I do think we die because we stayed in with Leech Seed on us. 
Oh no, we don't. We're gonna go for suck or uh, sucker punch until he dies. That's really all we can do. That is going to probably knock this thing right out. That is gonna knock out the Aegis Slash. We do have the plus two as well. Let's see, Empoleon is slower. It might have. Oh, he has Heatran. Heatran. We're gonna knock this thing off anyway. Um. Knock off it is. That should kill. Because we have dark type moves on this thing. Knock off it is. That should knock it out in one shot. It almost dies. Ooh. What suspense we've got here going? So he's got the Empoleon and he's got um, the Heatran left. We might be able to come back from this thing. We should be able to just finish this off with Earthquakes. Uh, he, he doesn't have the Air Balloon anymore. Oh, we're gonna take Stealth Rock. Shit. Alright. <clears throat> He's got the Empoleon left. So basically all we have to do, let's see. Um, Jolteon is gonna knock out with a Thunderbolt. And we're gonna knock out again with the uh, Empoleon coming out. So we're gonna kill now with the uh, Jolteon. That's gonna knock out the Heatran. question is, will an Aqua Jet kill us? If the Aqua Jet kills, which it shouldn't, no, it will not kill. So we are going to get off the win here, barely. Um, that was a great match. On both sides, par pardon me, just pausing for breath. I'm actually burping in the middle of this I'm drinking soda at the same time. We're going to go for the T-Bolt. We should be able to knock this thing out right off the bat, um, or even in two turns. If he uses Hydro Cannon, he kills us. Hydro Pump won't do enough. Hydro Cannon uh, isn't even in the system. That's how low it's actually used. Uh, Skull, Aqua Jet, Hydro Pump, Earthquake won't kill either. We're actually going to survive all of these. So, uh. Brr, this is suspenseful. Come on, please. Even an Aqua Jet won't knock us out. Um, it'll take him, what, four turns? Five turns, possibly, to kill us with an Aqua Jet. And that should be GG. So we're going to go for the Thunderbolt. Hope we can knock this thing out. That is almost going to kill it. We're going to get a Hydro Pump, and that is going to hit us. But it shouldn't kill. Oh my god. So we did lose. Oh wow, we did lose that. Um, wow. Alright, so that Empoleon did knock us out. Uh, wow. Alright, so we did lose our next battle in the gym challenge. We are 1-1. One, one. Um, gonna go on and probably challenge the flying one next. Um, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for battling me, Battle Leader Crimson. That is it for this battle. So please smash that like button for our Colo Golo. And uh, subscribe to Colo Nation. Keep Colo Nation growing as I provide more and more content. Thanks for watching guys. This is Al, your Colo King, and I am checking out.